Mowbray Swing 2 is a vibrating fork liquid level switch that can be used for high or low alarm and overfill protection applications. It is designed using the principles of a tuning fork. A piezoelectric crystal oscillates the forks at their natural frequency. Changes to this frequency are carefully monitored. The frequency of the vibrating fork sensor changes depending upon the medium into which it is immersed. The denser the liquid, the lower the frequency. When used as a low level alarm, the liquid in the tank drains down past the fork. This causes a change of natural frequency, which is detected by the electronics and switches at the output state. When Squing 2 is used as a high level alarm, the liquid rises in the tank making contact with the forks, causing the output state to change. Here are the forks, or tines, also known as. Squing 2 is designed for operation in process temperatures from minus 40 to plus 150 degrees C, and it is virtually unaffected by the turbulence or foam. It has a heartbeat LED to indicate its operating state. The LED flashes when the output is off and is constantly lit when the output is on. There is also a magnetic test point on the side of the housing for functional testing of the switch on site. A choice of process connections, electronic outputs and lengths are available. Explosion proof or flame proof and intrinsically safe options are also available. I'm now going to demonstrate uh, an intrinsically safe version of Swing 2 with a 1-inch BSP process connection and insertion length of 300 mm This unit will later be used as a high level alarm on a petrochemical application. This is the model of Squing 2 that I'm going to demonstrate. It's an intrinsically safe version and it has an extension length of 300 mm I've got it connected to a NAMA approved barrier and the output is from the barrier is coming to uh, a multimeter. So first of all I'll turn on the power. It's 24 supply, 24 volt supply going to the barrier um, which in turn is connected to the swing 2. Here we can see the heartbeat that we were talking about that shows the status of the unit. If I take the lid off, here is the electronics unit, the cassette. On the cassette I have an operation mode where I can select if the output is to switch when it's on dry or wet and also I can put in the delay time from 0.3 up to 3 seconds to allow for any ripples or turbulence in the tank. The magnetic test point is on the side, here. Now at the moment, if you can see the multimeter, it is showing um, an open contact. If I to simulate an alarm condition on site, if I use a, a magnet near the magnetic test point, the output is switched. So I'm able to check the wiring from the switch all the way through to the control unit. And also, the heartbeat, when it's in alarm, at the moment it's in normal operation, it's flashing in the alarm state, simulating an alarm state, it goes into the steady state. I'm now going to simulate a high level alarm condition um, with Squing 2 using a container and I've got some water in the container. So at the moment looking at the multimeter it shows uh, open contact and Squing 2 you can see the heartbeat flashing. If I have the squing and insert it into the container of water, 
you might be able to hear, you can hear the oscillation, the, the frequency of oscillation, you can hear it changing. The multimeter has gone to close contact and the heartbeat is steady.